Good afternoon and welcome to the virtual celebration of the LEED certification awarding to the WCT Center. We hope that you are all doing well and staying safe as we keep ourselves energized in this lovely afternoon. I would like to welcome all of you today and acknowledge the presence of our esteemed guests from the GBCI or the Green Business Certification Incorporated, the Managing Director of GBCI for Southeast Asia and the Middle East, Mr. Gopal Padmanabhan, the Regional Head for Market Development of GBCI Southeast Asia, Mr. Rohit Ravula, and from the W Group Inc., our lead consultant, Mr. Raymond C., the Building Manager of W City Center, Mr. Jeff Lapitad, the Building Administration Head, Mr. Archie Ginto, and of course, the CEO of W Group Incorporated, Mr. Francis Augusto Sui, and the Chairman and President of the W Group, Mr. Norman Vincent Wee. And to all of our guests here today, good afternoon, and thank you all for being here with us. We're excited to be here with you today as we celebrate the LEED Gold certification of the W Group's building, W City Center. While we cannot be together physically to celebrate this milestone, we're happy that we are still able to gather today, albeit through digital platforms to commemorate the W Group's success. This LEED Gold certification is truly a testament to the good work the company has done in delivering and ensuring sustainable and cost-efficient premium properties at the heart of BGC. To start our program, let us all welcome one of the men behind this milestone to give his welcoming remarks and share a few insights about our awarding ceremony today. W Group's Chairman and President, Mr. Norman Vincent Wee. Norman, good afternoon. The floor is yours. Yeah. Thank you, Sherwin. Uh, good day, everyone. I hope everybody is safe and well. Uh, and we thank you for taking the time to join us this afternoon. I am pleased to welcome all of you today as we celebrate another momentous achievement of W Group with the awarding of our Gold Gate Certificate for W City Center. While it is unfortunate that we cannot be all together physically today to celebrate this, we are still honored to have you here to witness the ceremonial awarding by the Green Business Certification Inc. on behalf of the U.S. Green Building Council. To acknowledge the hard work done in putting together an outstanding property under W Group. This Gold Lead Award is truly a testament to what W Group has accomplished and what we have always been committed to, which is to deliver premier and sustainable boutique office properties that promises outstanding real estate solutions, top grade visual appeal, and maximum efficiency in all fronts. Today, we look back to what made this achievement will bring as we continue to plan for bigger things ahead for the company and our stakeholders. We express our utmost gratitude to our partners from the Green Business Certification Inc. with us today for trusting and conferring us with this award. We are very excited to officially share this with our partners and we thank each and everyone joining us today. We hope this milestone will create a positive impact, not only on our environment, but also on the lives of our employees, tenants, partners, and our community. Thank you and have a great day, everyone. Thank you for those inspiring remarks, Norman. Surely we're all excited to know and discover more about the amazing features of the WC Center. And now, to help us explore and understand more about the green features of our LEED Gold Certified Building, may we now welcome W Group's very own LEED Consultant, Mr. Raymond C., to walk us through the features of the W City Center and highlight the facilities that really encapsulates the company's sustainability efforts and vision for the company. To start this presentation, join us in watching this short video on W City Center.
W City Center is designed by globally renowned New York based architectural firm Casa with a gross leasable area of 55,000 square meters. This high rise office building is the W Group's biggest office project to date. W City Center is located in Bonifacio Global City with close proximity and convenient pedestrian access to public transportation facilities residential developments and community services, minimizing the use of private cars. Low E double glazing protects the building from heat gain, LED lighting, energy efficient variable refrigerant volume systems and energy recovery ventilation reduce energy consumption by 22% while maintaining thermal comfort and indoor air quality. Over 20% of the cost of all construction materials are from recycled materials, such as glass, drywall, steel, and concrete with fly ash, as well as regional materials, such as steel and concrete. Over 95% of construction waste was recycled and diverted from landfills, reducing the project's negative impact on the environment. All paints, adhesives, sealants, and floor systems were chosen for their low volatile organic compound content. This results in an indoor environment with fewer airborne pollutants that can cause illness and discomfort. Outdoor ventilation rates comply with ASHRAE 62.1 2007 for improved occupant comfort, well being, and productivity. W City Center uses low flow fixtures like lavatory faucets, toilets, and urinals that reduce water requirements by more than 45% over a conventional building. Automated sensors also reduce water waste. All ventilation and air conditioning equipment and fire suppression systems operate without CFC, HCFC, or halon-based refrigerants, preventing the release of ozone-depleting gases into the atmosphere. An independent commissioning agent confirmed electrical and HVAC system performance, preventing inefficiencies during and after installation. Heat reflective coatings and a green roof project solar radiation, protecting the building from excessive heat gain and reducing cooling loads. All parking is under cover, which reduces the amount of heat absorbed on the site and minimizes thermal effects on the local microclimate. Preferred parking slots are available for low emitting and fuel efficient vehicles to encourage the use of cars that minimize carbon dioxide emissions. W City Center features a floor to ceiling height of three meters, an efficient floor plate of 3000 square meters, a grand lobby design, balcony spaces on selected office floors. In front of the building is a public park with a running track. In addition, a total of three floors will be allocated to retail merchants to make daily work more instrumental to corporate tenants. And now, W City Center is certified LEED Gold under the U.S. Green Building Council's Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design Green Building Rating System. Thank you. Thank you so much for that very informative presentation, Raymond. WCT Center truly sets the gold standard for its world-class and sustainable features and env environmental friendly facilities. And now to further reinforce W Group's dedication to providing top quality and sustainable properties in the Philippines, may we please call on to share his message of commitment on behalf of the W Group, our Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Francis Augustus Sui. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of uh, the W Group and W Landmark, thank you very much for joining us today as we receive the gold lead certification for W City Center, conferred by our partners from the Green Business Certification on behalf of the U.S. Green Building Council. It was almost 14 years ago that we started our venture into commercial property business right here in the heart of BGC. Uh, it's actually uh, our second time to receive this uh, prestigious award, and uh, we plan to actually uh, apply a lead for all of our future uh, projects. The LEED Green Building Program has always been one of the most coveted awards in the property industry, reflecting how we, as property developers, care and look after the environment, communities, and resources from all perspectives. We are happy to contribute to our community, particularly here in BGC, not only in terms of delivering a building where people can work, 
but also, uh, but more importantly, an environmental friendly, cost efficient, and sustainable property that provides the work life balance that every Filipino deserves. We hope this achievement continues to inspire our people as well as peers in the industry to work together towards creating a more robust and sustainable uh, BGC. We wouldn't have done this without the help of and support of our family, employees, partners, tenants, and communities. And we wholeheartedly share this milestone with everyone in W Group as we officially receive this award from the Green Business Certification. We hope to share the success with everyone physically soon. And again, thank you very much for being here with us today. And I hope uh, everyone is safe and well. Have a great day. Thanks so much for that very inspiring message, Francis. We're looking forward to all the upcoming plans and projects that the W Group has in store for its employees, partners, tenants, and other stakeholders. As we continue our celebration of the LEED Gold Certification of the WCT Center, we also have with us today members of the GBCI to give us an overview of the LEED Certification and LEED the Ceremonial Turnover of the Award. Ladies and gentlemen, May we call now on screen the Managing Director of GBCI Asia Pacific and Middle East Markets, Mr. Gopalakrishnan Padmanabhan. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Shervin. Uh, uh, so just for the sake of, you know, I, I got a long name, so uh, I think it's easier for all of you to call me as Gopal, G-O-P-L, it's an easy name. So first of all, uh, Mr. Shervin, thanks for putting up such a professional event. I think, uh, you know, right from the start uh, to the video which you played, I think it has been a very seamless event uh, because normally videos and such events always have a lag. But I think the way the video was presented, kudos to the entire organization team which went behind this event. And uh, uh, thank you, Mr. Norman V and uh, Mr. Francis V for setting a vision. I think uh, uh, you know having 14 years of your uh, uh, organization to work through this particular journey uh, and uh, to have two lead projects already certified and your vision about having all future projects to go for lead. Uh, we, we thank you for your leadership, sustainability leadership, and as US Green Building Council, US GBC and GBCI, uh, we are here to support your future journey as well. And, and uh, you know, uh, uh, we, uh, we, we all love the vision, what you talked about, uh, Mr. Norman B. And uh, Mr. Francis, we, I think you're talking about the work-life balance and the fact that you attributed this particular success to the entire stakeholders. So it's all about collaboration. Uh, 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 you know, it's all about leadership and thank you for those words. And uh, Mr. Raymond, very impressive. Thank you for uh, supporting this project because I think the way you very succinctly put across the green features uh, is something which, uh, uh, you know, we, we, we just love. And, and we hope that, uh, you know, your partnership with the W Group uh, uh, takes them to the next level. So with that uh, introduction, please allow me to uh, share a small presentation which I would use to talk about uh, very briefly. I don't want to take much of your time to talk about uh, what we are doing and uh, what is it that we can do further uh, to elevate our partnership as well. Uh, so uh, I think somebody has to allow me to uh, share the screen because I'm not a host. So, Mr. Sherman, if you can please hand over the hosting rights to me. Mr. Gopal, I think you're a co-host now, so you can already access the share screen button. Thank you. And uh, do let me know if you're able to see my screen so that I can get started. So, uh, so thank you. Yes. So, so you know, we actually celebrated 25 years of our uh, uh, existence three years back. So today we are a 28-year-old organization, uh, U.S. Green Building Council. We're headquartered in Washington D.C. and uh, uh, GBCI is the name of the legal entity which we form outside US. So we have a GBCI in Asia Pacific, uh, uh, we have a GBCI in Middle East, we have a GBCI in Latin America, we have a GBCI in China, uh, uh, and, and we have a GBCI in Europe as well. So uh, I actually uh, head the GBCI uh, Asia Pacific and GBCI Middle East. And uh, LEAD is our flagship brand. So uh, uh, LEAD is an acronym for uh, leadership and energy and environmental design so i think most of you are aware i think in the last 28 years of journey uh, you know all the stakeholders who work with us are able to see how leaders help them or their assets to save on energy to save on water 
to save on waste and and as mr raymond said how to you know build bring that uh, you know better indoor quality all that i think is known and we also now been able to quantify it as well because today i think you know 10 years back uh, you know lead uh, you know as a brand uh, used to be adopted because leadership organizations used to have used to have the responsibility in the back of the mind but no longer right i think as we as 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 we move along the economic progression i think it also has to make an economic value proposition which now lead does so today uh, uh, any ceo any cfo any ceo of organizations know very well that when we adopt lead let's say at a design stage it costs next to nothing and point number 2 it does help me to have a payback period as well so even if i'm going to invest let's say uh, uh, you know uh, uh, a couple of dollars into it my payback period let's say is 6 months 12 months and even buildings which have never gone lead at a design stage you can now retrofit assets to go lead and that too has got a payback of let's say 2 uh, to 3 years so that's a type of uh, economic value proposition which i think it's it's building into it and uh, what started as uh, possibly a concept for commercial buildings today you will see lead being adopted in every asset class you can think about right from a residential building to a, a manufacturing warehouse data centers schools colleges airports railway stations place of worship uh, you know any any asset you can think of has now come into lead and uh, uh, apart from the private players even the government is now getting into it in in many parts of the world governments are incentivizing people to go green to go lead etc uh, so just a couple of stats so that you know we are able to put your achievement in the right perspective uh, so across the world close to 22 billion square feet of space works with lead and if you come let's say closer to southeast asia Uh, you know we have 2300 projects uh, which actually work with us and i think uh, uh, philippines as, my, as per my data we have close to 400 projects spanning 155 million square feet um, and so so thanks to philippines is a country for taking the leadership role as well so let me just shift tracks a bit so you know all of us you know have been affected directly or indirectly by the pandemic Uh, uh you know it's 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 been truly an inclusive event uh, in the last 18 months so what did we do as an organization we redrew our vision right so so we said health and well being is paramount whether it is employees of an organization or a person getting into a, a retail outlet or a hotel whichever is lead certified we have to take ownership of their health and well being as well so while lead will continue to help organizations to save on energy water and so the bottom line impact is there but we also did a conscious shift and said that the lead buildings also have to impact the health and well being positively so what did we do we formed you know the pillars of this so one is we'll continue to further sustainability we will continue to talk about health and wellness more importantly we'll also be talking about resiliency so when i'm saying resiliency it's all about uh, uh, safety how design can actually do that i'm just going to come that in a minute also social equity right so the work what we all do should not be limited to only our assets it should contribute to the community uh, at large whether it is a community within manila or philippines a country so we have made plans and we are actually executing it uh, you know as we talk so that that then will i'll just take on to the next so as you are aware today i think digitalization technology and data uh, has now percolated into every business we talk about so we asked ourselves this question even before the pandemic as to how we can ensure that lead is also able to embrace these three concepts digitalization data and technology so what did we do we launched a, a, an iot platform on the cloud which can actually take data from a building from an operating building now let's say the w group although you have two projects which are already lead certified at design stage you might have let's say 20 or 30 odd uh, uh, buildings which are already operating now you want to know what is the green score of that building so what you do very simple take all the data from the building so the data can come either from a digital meter or from a building management solution or simply 
go into our platform and enter your power bill, water bill, etc. And what do you get? You get a screen like this, right? So in the center, 76 personifies the overall green score of the building. And you can also get scores of energy, water, waste, your carbon footprint, and your human experience, it's nothing but your indoor air quality, and see how powerful it is. Now imagine in your in your W city center or in your city plaza, which you did earlier, employees coming into the building and seeing this huge screen with data, right? See, ultimately, whatever we do should just not become a certificate on the wall. It should transform into something meaningful to the people in your organization, whether it is your staff or the employees of companies which work. And, and I went through your, your tenants. These are all Fortune 500 companies. So this is something which we can help in all your assets across uh, uh, Philippines. Uh, already close to 4 billion square feet across the world is using this technology platform. And you don't need to stop there. We can, so this is a portfolio. So imagine all your 100 or 20, 30 odd buildings, you can get scores of all your buildings on a single screen. You can start comparing your assets, right? Asset number one, how does it compare? Which is the best asset? Or which is the asset which is which is performing the best on energy? What is it that building is doing? Can I cross-pollinate that across my assets? So you're talking about best practices, etc. And you can start talking about your carbon. And I'm sure that, uh, 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 you know, Mr. Norman V or Mr. Francis V, your vision is also to talk about your carbon to your uh, shareholders and stakeholders. So this technology platform will help you to understand what is your current carbon score and you can set your carbon score for the future. Because today, as you're aware, most leadership organizations, most of your tenants have already started talking about this is my 2025 carbon target. I want to reduce it by 25%. So W Group, w group can also set such targets using this platform. So what did we do during COVID? We, we actually launched a very interesting concept called safety first pilot credit. So I, uh, you know obviously I'll take it at Mr. Francis offline. So any new projects which W Group is going to uh, uh, conceptualize in the future, you can incorporate the safety first pilot credit completely free of. There's no additional cost to it. It's a simple set of credits which you can incorporate. Again, I, I don't want to go into this uh, uh, in detail today, but but we, we are happy to uh, take you through it. And ultimately, uh, you know, we talked about health and wellness, resiliency, and all that. But what is the final goal of uh, W Group? It has to be about net zero building, right? So today, net zero is being talked about across the world. We are the first organization to bring a comprehensive program called Lead Zero. So you can either achieve Lead Zero using carbon or energy or water or waste. Now, now why are we giving this either or? Because different organizations and different asset classes can have different strategies. Now, if I'm a hotel where I'm one of the biggest gases of energy and water, I will use the carbon route. Now, if I'm a data center, I'm a very high consumer of energy. So I'll go for a zero energy. If I am a Unilever or a Procter & Gamble or a Colgate Palmolive, the factories, I will go for a zero waste. Uh, if I am a, a Coca-Cola or a Pepsi bottling plant, I may go for a zero water because you know I, uh, my brand is uh, uh, always an exploiter of groundwater. So depending on the asset class, you can actually go for this lead zero also. And we invite... Uh, W Group to be part of this journey. Uh, we already have close to uh, 75 leadership organizations across the world who have signed up with this, and we will work through Mr. Francis to, uh, uh, you know, progress W Group not only to lead zero, but the the vision for the future should be lead positive as well. Uh, although I know that you are not in residential, but just a few things because as you're aware, today after the pandemic, every homeowner across the world they are talking about healthy homes. So last year, we launched a LEED residential program specifically to address this. So any project coming under LEED residential, uh, you know, will be able to take the uh, thing on uh, uh, quality living, right? So I'm not, I'm not going to go into this in detail. So this is the journey which I talked about for W Group. So today, you are in the LEED here at, at, at the bottom of the curve. So this 45-degree angle will help you to move towards 
the technology platform I spoke about into carbon, into lead zero, and to lead positive. And along this journey, you will tick all the boxes of health and wellness, resiliency, your carbon goals, your ESG goals, etc. So we also invite W Group to become an USGBC member. Again, I will we will talk it offline with you. This is a prestigious invitation which we offer to some of our select organizations across the world. It will also help you to for your teams to get into our education platform, write our exams, become our credential holders, etc. So with that, let me come to the uh, you know the portion which actually matters for all of us. So again, thank you W Group for uh, your leadership for creating sustainable built environments. And, and I, th I think as Mr. Francis we rightly said, uh, this wouldn't have been possible, I'm sure, without the collaboration of all the teams, whether it is the W Group team or whether it's the Mr. Francis team or Mr. Francis talked about the architects. I'm sure there are MEP consultants, uh, there are acoustic experts, uh, there are uh, uh, air quality experts, all the people, your projects team, your design team, all of them have contributed to this. So, so my congratulations to the entire W group and on behalf of USGBC, uh, it is my pleasure to hand over virtually this certificate uh, to W group for the lead goal. Uh, 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 and, 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 and again, just to uh, uh, you know, readdress this point, getting lead is not easy. Uh, and especially getting a lead gold certification, I think is possibly a pinnacle of glory which you have achieved. And as I said, uh, you know, and, and this is our the letter personally signed by our CEO from Washington DC. Uh, you know, I had a chat with him today morning. He passed on his uh, regards and wishes to you. And uh, you know, I, I would have loved to be in Manila to hand it over personally, but I think uh, uh, I, I'm sure that the world is coming out of uh, this pandemic and uh, at the first available opportunity. Uh, uh, me and Rohit, we are happy to fly down to Manila uh, to again do an event, possibly you know as a town hall, where all your employees are able to listen to us and understand all the commitments and investments you have made to make their lives. I think you talked about the work-life balance. Let us also add their health and well-being, their resiliency for the future as well. So thank you uh, uh, everybody for uh, giving me this time. And as as, as I said let this be only the start of our partnership we have a lot of things to offer the w group the w group as you actually progress as a leader uh, for, in philippines and to the world as well thank you thank you so much for that wonderful presentation mr padmanabhan and thank you again for being with us today congratulations to the wcd center and the w group for its lead gold certification commemorate this monumental celebration, we would like to ask the representatives of the GBCI and the W Group to turn on their cameras for a photo opportunity. May we call on to turn on their screens for a photo. Uh, Sir Gopal, Mr. Rohit Ravula, Mr. Francis Wee, Mr. Norman Wee, and Mr. Raymond C. Okay, everyone, eyes on screen. One, two, three. One more. One, two, three. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. Truly, this celebration recognizes the company's efforts to provide not only state-of-the-art design and structures, but also its initiatives in building an environment-friendly, cost-efficient, and sustainable property for its stakeholders and our fellow Filipinos. Congratulations once again to the WCD Center and the W Group for its LEED Gold certification, and we hope to see more of the company's great initiatives in the future. That concludes our ceremony for today. Thank you all for taking part in this occasion as we award the LEED Gold certification to the WCD Center. We hope that you can continue to look out and support the W Group's future projects moving forward. This has been Sherwin De La Cruz on behalf of the W Group. Thank you, stay safe, and have a pleasant day ahead. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.